This is my setup. This is my books. We're gonna be talking about books today. This is a great, this is the best intro I've filmed in my entire YouTube history. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. I'm gonna go through my bookshelf today and also rate my, um, all the books I've read in 2022. First things first, you may notice that I've changed my YouTube name from Aestheterita to Sabrina's MySpace. Sabrina's MySpace is my Instagram, so I'm like, I'm just gonna change it to my YouTube as well. Um, Aestheterita is kind of like my artist name. So Sabrina's MySpace is my new channel, and getting into the new year, we're gonna be talking about my books that I've read in 2022, and I'm going to rate each book because there's a lot of books with just a sentence. So first things first, let me introduce my bookshelf. Up here on this first level, I have all of my favorite books that I own at least, from my right to my left. Um, and then up here, I have my TBR, kind of. It's kind of out of order right now because I just rearranged my bookshelf. But, um, yeah, just t like stuff I need to read or have already read but want to reread, stuff like that. Let's go through my, my favorites, though. <gasps> I have to where my mic was caught. Pride and Prejudice, 1984, Anne Frank, My Viewer of Rest and Relaxation, Book Lovers, Egghead, Hatchet, Persuasion. Um, Cleopatra and Frank Frankenstein, which is what I just read. Uh, Small Sacrifices, A Guest of the Reich, uh, Merchant of Venice. I'm like an old posh dictionary. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of thought it was cool. I have my little smaller book section, like um, my three Shakespeare books, Edgar Allan Poe and Sherlock Holmes. And these guys are all just miscellaneous. But this is my bookshelf. We love, uh, I got my little figurines. My camera collection, minus one, obviously. Um, yeah, but... Let's stay focused. I hope. Um, I'm going to be reading off my phone. So basically I have this app called Storygraph that I've been using throughout the year to track my like page progress. I have read 42 books. 40, 41, sorry. 41 books this year. Um, and I'm going to go down a list from January to now, all the books I read, summarize them in a sentence, because this is going to be a really long video if I expand on each one. Um, the first one's a weird one. It's like Phase 1 Iron Man. It's like a book version of the movie version. Uh, if I had to describe it in a sentence, it's just the movie, but the comedic timing is off. Um, next I have, I actually found this one, Pride and Prejudice. Lovely. Um, I would describe it as, you can't beat the original, you know? Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes. I actually bought this one by accident, or even though I'd already read it. Um, he's not as rude as you guys think. That's the sentence. He's not as rude as you guys think. And he's just really, like, he's really smart, but he's also just really polite. Like, he's never, like, annoying. The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. Um, totally recommend it. Um, if I could describe this, one more, it's slight. It's slayed. Then I read A Secret Daughter by, oh, the text is so small. She'll be so my Gouda. If I had to describe it in a sentence, the first chapter hooks you and the ride is great. The first chapter, like slash prologue, was so good and so gripping. Be like, boom, this is what the story is about. Next is The Rosie Project. Um, I should mention that I got this in a, um, I'm defending the reason why I read a romance. <laughs> I got this in a book bundle. Here's, here's my sentence for it. Sheldon and Amy from Big Bang Theory, except Bernadette is an art student. That's basically it. That's, next is Big Lies in a Small Town. Um, Diane Chamberlain wrote this. I was like, the cover is so boring. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna hate this because it's a boring cover. I always judge books by the cover. If you don't, you don't read books. Sorry. It's like actually so good though. Um, describe it in a sentence. Girl bosses in time. Hatchet. We got this lovely little boy on my shelf. I'm always thinking about this book. I read this in like the sixth grade and I'm always thinking about random plot points and I'm like, oh my god. I want to read it again. Shit you can do with an axe, man. Shit you can do with an axe. Uh, let me call you sweetheart. 
it was good, I guess. I don't know. It's okay. Uh, describe it in one sentence. Plastic surgery is fucked. Okay, I'm moving on. Eve Babbitts. I went on my Eve Babbitts um, girl boss month of March. I'm going to name that my girl boss month. LA woman... Shit, what's it called? Ugh, that one with Marilyn Monroe. Black swans I loved so much more. Cigarette smoke, sunlight, and tears. That's what it feels like to me. Moving on, I do have this one because I love her. And I know I want to read every single book she has. This is My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Atessa, Otessa Moshvig. Atessa Moshvig. The Moshvig. Every single time I tell someone about this book, I say this sentence, so I'm going to describe it in this sentence. It's so mentally ill. I love it. So mind-bogglingly mentally ill. But it's so good. Trick Mirror. Reflections on self-delusion. I saw this cover and I'm like, adorable. And I heard people saying good stuff about it online. And I picked it up and I read the first little bit and I'm like, this is an essay book. I did not know this. I ran out of storage on my good camera. So now you're getting the phone footage and my laptop. <laughs> Welcome back. This is great, you know, it's intermission time. Okay. So I think the sentence I'm gonna use is this could have been done 40 pages ago. Because a, a lot of the time, it, it, it definitely could have been. Next ever people we met on vacation, which I love. I only have eyes for you. Will always remind me of this book now because of the opening scene. Um, Normal People by Sally Rooney. You know what? Oof. Okay, I don't like this book. I'll say it. Get it out there. And I feel like a non-monster brain would have been able to figure that out, but like, I'm not smart, girl. I need quotation marks or I don't know who's talking and I don't understand. You know what? Instead of, instead of me saying it, I'm just gonna put a clip of Kelso from that 70s show saying my thoughts on the whole subject. Wow, thanks. Oh, happy birthday. Damn, Jackie, stop kissing other guys! Iconic. Next, I read another Salarina book, Beautiful World, Where Are You? I literally don't even remember a single thing about this book, this book is about. But I think it has a lot of unnecessary stuff in it as well. Anyway, next I reread Book Thief. I read it when I was in grade 8. If my sentence could be anything, it would be, I want death to narrate my life. Funny, you know? And he's almost, almost a better host than the teacher read. Oh, Kim Ji Young Born 1982. This is a book set in Korea. About like a woman's struggles. Every woman should read this. That's not good. It's so good. Tornado weather. Um, I'm gonna skip again. Because it was it was such an unremarkable book and I hated reading it. Um, and I'm not gonna apologize. I'm just not apologizing. I didn't like it, and I'm sorry if that offends you. Like, I don't know, that's what it is. Very good book called Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. Yeah. If I could describe it in a sentence. <laughs> in a word, chaos. <laughs> Intentions are so important, okay? I don't know, I don't know. You should read it. It's very, very good. The Memory Police by uh, Yoko Agawa. <laughs> Um, I, oh, should I say this? This is a gift for one of my friends for Christmas. She probably doesn't even, won't see my YouTube channel anyway. There's no non-political, there's no non-political joke I can make. I'll just, um, I'll, I'll say this. The second we lose books is the second that we lose freedom. I'll say that, that's very tame. Um, then I read Crying in H Mart by... Uh, Michelle Zahner. <laughs> this is a stupid sentence, but um, uh, the sentence I'm going to choose is um, My mom watches the same Korean food YouTuber and it hit close to home because of that. <laughs> you all grow up in Leafy, a memoir of teenage obsession. She really wanted to be a victim. Anyway, uh, <laughs> next, um, I read a comic, Batman Volume 1, Third Dark Design. Take this with a piece of salad. I remember it so memorably. Next, I read Beach Read, which again, I think because of the warm and weather I love so much more. If my relationship ain't like this, 
I don't want it. If we're not exchanging books to critique, I don't want it. Okay, next, moving on. The Vanishing Half is another book I'm gifting to a friend this Christmas. Roche. Bro, she did her sister so dirty. Like, so unbelievably dirty. Anyway, moving on. I Know Who You Are, Alice Feeney. This book, like, starts going off in one direction. You're like, oh. Like, what? She just has a guilt complex for no reason. Not because she murdered people. Egghead. Yes, I got this book a while ago, but I just randomly started reading it. Um, I have bolded the top page. <laughs> like poems I like to read. I'll read one. This one's called Drink Umbrellas. Those little drink umbrellas that spring up in the tropics were invented by a lonely group of crying alcoholics. Anyway, it's a good book. If I had to read it, um, go have sex with Rob's mom. Oh, I heard you had sex with an older woman last night. I did. What's her son's name? Rob, he's right there. I fucked his mother. Is that cool with everyone? Cool with me. All right. Book lovers. I own this one as well. Okay, I'm still on that Emily Henry ride. And to summarize this in a book, it's the perfect book to read while you're camping. I finished reading this while I was watching the sunrise. That is the best situation to read this book. Weird, I have all of these books. The Merchant of Venice. Um, it's very good, but there's like a lot of racism. <laughs> like, very heavy racism. Surprisingly funny, minus the blatant racism. That's what I'll do that. Um, next I went on vacation. I know it sounds like I went just for vacation, not for somewhere else, but I went to visit my sister. So the books I read and own, I only have them because I went to a bookstore and they're like, oh, these are for free. Or like, oh, but can you just take them? And I'm like, sure. And I read them. But that doesn't mean they're good. Um, Summer Sisters by Judy Bloom. This is a well-written book, but there's some weird age gaps fetishizes girls a lot and I'm like hang on I'm like whoa written by a man and I'm like it's Judy Bloom it's written by a woman there's like some very heavy sexualization of minors in this book and I get that the only reason she's on this shelf is because I own it not because I like this book at all okay like if the characters were like a decent age if they were all like 20 like boy and girl I'd be like yeah this is a good book but it's not that, so. Mad River Road. I already cut up any of the pages for some reason. She didn't deserve to live. Sorry, Joy. Um, make a good book next time. Um, Puppet, <laughs> you know why I hate this one? Is it depicts Canada. And it like has every American Canadian stereotype ever written. And I'm like, holy crap, this book is so dated. So, this sentence is, this woman has never been to Toronto, ever. Like, like, because you have to be crazy to think that that's what it's like. Next is Mary Higgins Clark, Love Music Goes to Dance. This is a very good book. This is actually a really good book. I actually really like this one. The more I think about it, the more I like it. Writing some music for ads was a weird era. And I'm glad that's not a thing anymore. Before she disappeared, this is a very good um, mystery. Once you get over the trying to fit into your fridge part, it's pretty good. American Psycho. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's a book? Oh, I love the movie. Well, not like in like an abstract sense. I'll read the book. Oh my god. I don't want this. Where is the part where it's not this? Where's the part where it says Sigma Male quotes over funk TikTok music? Okay, where's that part? Okay. There's absolutely no way that the person who wrote this is a sane, calm, non-racist, non-sexist, non-homophobic dude. Like, there's no way. He is writing in character. <laughs> I read Speak, the graphic novel. I do eventually want to read the actual book, but um, I had a graphic novel. I kept on thinking in my library, and I'm like, I'll read it. It's not really like a book I can comment on. It was just very good. People like us, I read it in September. I had the perfect sentence. Never trust the goth girl. <laughs> Uh, next I have Persuasion by Jane Austen. That's my sentence. She started every good trope. That's all I want to say on that. Um, I guess it's a Reich I read like very recently. Here's here's what I'll say. She's really not my favorite writer. She's really not. Um, Cleopatra and Frankenstein. Ah, so 
so good. The vibe, the aesthetic. There's so many things I could say about this book. I'll just say this. As characters, I love them. As people, I would hate them. That in all the books I read was so... It's the difference between like paperbacks <laughs> and I started reading more hardcovers later in the year. But look at her. That's only the books I own, but um, I guess now I'm just going to reorganize my favorites. Now that I've sat down, I've thought about it. So let's go through my final favorites. So I have Pride and Prejudice, um, My Year of Rest and Relaxation, 1984, stays. She's not moving. Book Lovers, Persuasion, Merchant of Venice, Hatchet, Small Sacrifices, um, Anne Frank, Cleopatra and Frankenstein, Egghead, Guest of the Reich, Mary Higgins Clark. So that is my final 2022 review of my favorite shelf. I love all of these books so dearly. I love all these figurines so dearly. Um, in another video, we'll go over my TBR for 2023. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you guys want more book content because I'm gonna keep making them anyway, but I would like to know what you guys think. We'll see you in the next video in the next year. All oh, have a great restful holidays if you celebrate holidays. And I love you all so much. Goodbye. Happy New Year! <laughs> this is my last video of the year. What, what do people say at the end of the year? If you sneeze during this video, bless you. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday. Best? <laughs>